Let's talk about the difference between chasing and qualifying. What most people do is chase, 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 chase. They just look for deals and deals and deals, but you can't find deals because they suck. So imagine a marketplace, imagine an environment where, uh, imagine life is a marketplace. You know, you have relationships, you have uh, business, you have uh, spirituality, whatever it is you, that you're currently looking for. Imagine it as sort of this marketplace in the universe where you constantly are looking for whatever it is you want to find. Now, let's say that you want to find uh, a better uh, car. What's going to happen if you just, you know, just sort of don't have a very specific idea of what you want and you just chase, 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 you're just going to chase the deal. So you're going to look for the first thing that looks hot, looks like a good deal. And if it looks good, again, you're not going to have any sort of standards. You're just going to go for it. And even if you keep testing things, you don't really know what you're looking for. So what you're going to find is going to be very varied. You know, just like is said in uh, Alice in Wonderland, uh, the rabbit asks Alice, uh, Alice uh, sees two paths and she says, where should I go? So the rabbit, he tells her, uh, do you have any preferences uh, to where do you want to actually get to? And she says, no, I don't have any specific place I want to get to. She says, okay, so both paths are the same. It doesn't actually matter which one you choose. So what you really want to take from this is if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, then you're going to get whatever you're going to get and it's going to be good. The other side of the coin is qualifying. Qualifying is useful in finding relationships, finding customers, finding mentors, whatever the fuck you want it to be. Uh, and what you want to do is, first of all, write down exactly what qualities are you looking for uh, from what you're searching for. So let's say, again, you want to have a car. You need to decide what color, what type, what, uh, you know, what sound does it make, what cost is it going to have. And then what you can do is instead of looking for things and just, you know, kind of testing everything out fully, you come from this very qualifying state of mind where you just check things and now you're the buyer and not the seller. So you're not the one trying to convince anybody of anything because you know exactly what you're looking for. And this also requires um, the idea of believing in abundance. So you need to believe that anything that you could consider uh, desirable, let's say a specific type of car at a very low price, a home at a very affordable price, a customer uh, you know that you charge 10 times more from, uh, you need to believe in abundance and you need to believe that whatever it is you're looking for, you're gonna be able to find it if you just look for it enough. And what I like to do is use, uh, there's a coach called Rich Litvin and he has this uh, really cool thing that I like and he calls it, you know, your first thousand no's. So before you say no, it's not possible, you know, you can't really ask for it. It's asking for too much. If I'm going to keep qualifying people, I'm never going to get to what I want to get. What you want to ask is, if I ask a thousand people, what are the odds that I'm just going to keep getting no's? And even if so, just play a game with yourself do the game and you know say okay let's try getting my first thousand no's for whatever it is i'm looking for and the more you exercise this thing where you just have like outrageous demands and you believe them and you believe that you could find them because of abundance uh principles um you just uh it's kind of a, a cycle where the more you uh, believe it and assume it the more you're going to ask for crazy shit and the more you're going to get it and the more faith you're going to have and the more calm you're going to be in life because you know you're going to get whatever it is you want to get. So I recommend that you start this exercise and maybe with small things, maybe with big things, but try getting your first thousand no's for something or maybe even a hundred no's. Try charging five times more for your services. Try asking for, uh, you know, uh, buying something at an outrageous price. Uh, and just keep qualifying different people until somebody says yes. The more you do it, the more control you're going to have over reality. Highly recommended. Try it. Enjoy.